Levels of Organization of Living Things. All living things have certain things in common. These common characteristics are what makes something alive. One of the most important characteristics is how living organisms are organized. Everything that is alive is made up of cells. This includes plants, animals, and even bacteria. But these cells are not just randomly thrown together. They come together in a very special way. All cells that are similar will come together to form tissues. No, not that kind of tissue. Tissues are groups of cells that come together to perform a specific function. For example, muscle tissue works to help you brush your teeth and lift your backpack off the floor. Your nervous tissue helps send signals to your brain when it is really cold outside, so you put your gloves on. Tissues with the same function then come together to form organs. Organs are found throughout your body and perform very special functions. Your stomach is an organ that has the job of breaking down the food you eat so your body can get the energy it needs. Your heart is an organ that has the job of pumping blood that carries oxygen throughout your body. Organs with similar jobs work together to form an organ system. There are 11 different organ systems in the human body. The skeletal system includes all the bones in your body and keeps you standing or sitting up tall. The digestive system is made up of all the organs, including the stomach, that help break down the food you eat so your body can absorb the energy it needs. In order for cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems to stay healthy and actually work, there are some important things that need to happen. All parts of the body, whether you are a person, a cat, a snake, or even a plant, needs to stay the same temperature and condition. Living organisms do this through a process called homeostasis. Homeostasis means to keep everything the same. So when it is cold outside, the body needs to do something to keep itself warm. What happens when you get really cold? Do you start to shake and shiver? This is homeostasis. When you are cold, the muscles will start to twitch and move, which warms up the cells and tissues. The colder you get, the more the muscles will twitch and move. What happens when you get really hot? Do you start to sweat? That is homeostasis. The sweat or water on your skin helps to cool off the cells and tissues. Some animals, however, like dogs, will start to pant when they get too hot. All the extra heat is released from their tongues and they draw in lots of air that helps to cool them down. Finally, what happens if you eat a big bag of salty chips? Do you get really thirsty? That is also homeostasis. 
If you eat too much salt, your brain will make you thirsty. So you drink more water and help to dilute the extra salt. The really amazing thing is that all this happens without you even thinking about it. It is involuntary. Your body just knows what to do to keep it safe and healthy. So all things are made of cells. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs. Organs make up organ systems. And organ systems make up the organism. Pretty cool, huh?